Hello, I'm back. This is a quick vlog, book, recommendation, review, whatever this video is. I just want to talk about The Grace Keepers. Library book, so shiny plastic cover on it. It's set in a dystopian slash fantasy world. It's a weird hybrid of the two. I just had to move something before it fell over. It's a weird hybrid of the two. There's fantastical elements, there's dystopian elements, there's speculative fiction elements. It, it's a very, it's a book that's very difficult to put into a genre. I'm not going to give too much away about the story. It's been out a few years, so you guys probably know, but I'm going to say about it. It's completely, I would compare it to His Dark Materials Trilogy by Philip Pullman. Philip Pullman. In the sense that it takes you on a journey. It takes you through this world of these sort of unique characters. And I'm slightly obsessed with the cover art. I just have to say that the cover art is gorgeous. Um, and just, it's a gorgeous book. And it's difficult to show you how pretty it is because it's a library book. The, the overall story is about change. It's about going, doing something crazy, doing something unique, doing something new. And you have a world of these sort of bizarre characters. It's, it reminds me almost of old Norse tales or fairy tales. It has that quality to it. And you have several distinct characters. And the way it's written is the chapters go from different points of view. And my favourite character is North and her bear. She's, I love her, but then there's other characters that you just fall in love with as well. Um, this is, this is a thing I will say, this is a very brave book in some ways, because it blurs those genres and it, it's, it's a brave, it's blurring those lines between them. The writing style is beautiful, it's elegant, it's clean, and I love that. And just overall a brilliant book um, for Goodreads. And if I was reviewing it, I would one of the few things I would say would be a good four out of five. And don't forget for me, four is a is a big deal. For me to give a book four is is a big deal. I've never given a book five. I love it, and I'm I was put off this book because I had a friend. Well, I have a friend, Kitty, I'm looking at you, girl, who did not stop talking about this book when she when it first came out. It was an endless, oh my god, you really need to read this. And then everyone online was talking about it. And I was like, uh, every, I, it's probably overhyped. I'll, I'll leave it. I'm kicking myself. <laughs> I could kick myself in the backside really hard for not picking this book up in 2015, I would. I cannot recommend this book highly enough. I'm Raw Book Geek. I'm out of here. And uh, info down below.